Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, traders from across the globe. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to my 2,363rd edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Once again, good evening, traders. This video coming at you on a Tuesday night for trading Wednesday. That is January 26th, 2022. Before we get started, please acknowledge and remember the risks involved in this game. It is very, very risky, and if you do not put your stops in first, you can be annihilated. In fact, for you traders, you brand new traders that just started with me, sorry about the first losing trade, but thank the Lord we had our stops in. But at the same time, the stop got hit. Volatility is so grand. That it turned around and went back up to what would have been profit, but we were stopped first. You got to put those stops in. Luckily, we took a second trade today and made back some points to make a cushion, but we actually lost on the first trade I wanted to give out to my new Omniax who signed up. My apologies, I promise we will we will make some bucks together. Do not hesitate when the Omni signals come out. Omni is a great counter puncher, but you can't miss the signals. All right. Speaking of which. Before I go any further, for the new traders, the new signups who are now taking my Omni Trading Signals, the Platinum Membership, and for anybody else who's been taking them already, you know that we send you these trades. You get an email, a text, you get a telegram, a flash pop-up window shows up on your screen, and we have a Discord channel, and you receive the entire trade in its entirety, word for word, where to place the stops, where we're going to trade, on the Discord channel, and all of that happens on your cell phones. So our technology has increased dramatically, and we are able to send you the whole trade, and we'd love to have you take advantage of that. So make sure that you've signed up for our Discord channel. All right, traders, ES, the E-mini S&P daily bar, below the 200 ball moving average now for two days in a row. I don't like it. You know the street pays attention to this 200. Being below it is not healthy. Tomorrow being a Fed day, I can only imagine that they're going to speak about rates going up. And rates going up doesn't make the market go higher. It makes it adjust lower. And we are in an adjustment. Traders, if you recall, Omni's pretty sharp. I came out right here and did a video and explained not only would we start price adjusting in the stock market, why we would price adjust, what it means about corporate bonds and they have to pay more interest now to get more money in. The stock has to adjust. Well, we have been adjusting. Now we've broken the 200 ball moving average. The street sees that. Even if we rally somewhat, we will likely adjust more. We will be selling rallies. The reason why I'm doing one of these shoots for you right now and not standing in front of the camera is the Omni did flip back to selling and we will be selling rallies in the E-mini S&P. The fact that it's a Fed day, we will be out very quickly, but we will approach this by selling rallies. So NASDAQ, excuse me, S&P below the 200 ball moving average. NASDAQ, same sort of thing. NASI below the 200 ball moving average, and now below a major trend line that comes back from pretty far back, that red trend line. So NASDAQ not looking much better, right? Trend line's like way back here. I can't even get to it. But the trend line goes really far back, and we're below that, and the Omni's red. And then, if you recall, we were looking at silver. Traders, the reason why I keep showing you that 200 ball moving average in the indices and in silver is because it does work like a magnet. If you recall, I requested, or at least suggested that traders get long silver when we were down here somewhere. Silver rallied, and when we got up here, I expressed and explained how the street watches this 200 ball moving average like a hawk in silver. And now that we've gotten up to it, you should probably take your profits. Well, look what's happened since. Even if you get rid of the resistance line and just look at what happens at the 200 bar, silver has broken since. So if it's meaningful, then it will be meaningful for these guys as well. The street does watch it. Then we've got the reason why all of this is happening, and that is our chart masterpiece for today. Traders, 
Chart masterpiece, this is the 30-year bond chart on a weekly. You have seen this chart in many, many videos. I started showing it to you when it was building the channel on the way up. And while bonds were going up, bond futures, interest rates were going down. Interest rates go down when bonds go up, like on a teeter-totter. So in the bull channel, interest rates go lower. Then we had a capitulation, and I kid you not, the week that this ball was put in, I put this message here and said this is either a blow-off top or it's capitulation, but bonds have done. Since then, we started this bear channel, and I've been showing you this chart as the bear channel's building. And then I said, look, now it's the opposite. Interest rates are going up while bonds are going down. Opposite teeter-totter. Well, that is what's happening. And then if you remember, we did a do or die right here at the 200 ball moving average. And oh boy, it broke. So now look, boom. This is a bear flag being built on the 200, on the, excuse me. It's a bear flag being built on the bond chart below the 200 ball moving average. That is probably an indication that this average, or I should say, that the bonds will continue lower, meaning interest rates will go higher. So look, this is some form of a bear flag building right here. Let me just make these lines legible. And make them blue so we can see them. And boom, there is your bear flag. It is below the 200 ball moving average. And it's probably the Fed coming out tomorrow is probably going to speak about how they will continue to back off on buying bonds and at some point raise those interest rates. And if that's the case, you should get more of this downside, make it a red bar so it looks like what should happen. You should get something that looks like this, more downside out of bonds. Traders, this is what I wanted to show you. Get prepared for trading over the next few days because boy it's going to be crazy stops have been large if you need to move yourself down to the micros for a few days if this volatility is too big the stops are enormous i know i've gotten tagged myself with you guys today and that wasn't cheap if you need to move down to the micros but don't stop trading through this we will get through it and the omni will take us home traders thanks for tuning in good luck trading on wednesday and remember Stops are in emotions are out. Traders again, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you join my service. I will see you all at live with Oscar.com.